All right, people, welcome back. Here we go with another full face helmet. Yeah, I got too close to it with the DA and kind of popped off that little cover right there, which was good because then I got to see what was underneath. Some of the cheaper helmets are just kind of glued on. Don't want to really take them off because they'll never go back on, but this had Phillips screws in it. Good to go. Smooth it all over with some gray scotch bright. Just doing a quick coat of um, white base on there just to kind of cover up those logos. Not doing it too heavy because with all the airbrush on top, it's going to be buried. The real big pain is to paint a round circle on a round surface. It kind of doesn't really look round in certain ways, so got to do the best you can. I'll do a rough placement, something like this, because instead of just taping it off and then unpeeling it and it's all off center, just spraying on really light kind of gives me a guide of where I'm going. Like I said earlier about the whole 2D and 3D thing, I got a 2D surface, I'm curving around the helmet, so I didn't want to make it too large because I didn't want it to go over top of the other side or too small. You kind of see that on mural work with a lot of motorcycles where someone puts something on the top of the gas tank and then it just starts to wrap around the sides of the tank. But when you're looking at it from the side, it doesn't make any sense what you're seeing unless you look at it right on top. So that's why I like to kind of make the image where you can see it just at one angle, top or sides. And this right here is my divider graphic to split up the two colors of both sides of the helmet. using some clear base and some House of Color Ice Pearl. Mix that up and I can spray right on top of the image and low light you still see the graphics but when the light hits it, it has a real pop of metallic to it. I know it's a lot of work and it's a lot of cutting and taping, but in order to get a nice crisp edge like we would see in a comic book, you gotta tape everything off. You don't wanna have anything fuzzy. So it takes a lot of time, but it gives it the desired effect.
just like earlier, a different color ice pearl. I do want a gold version on top of the yellow. It'll give it a really nice pop once the sun hits it outside. The brush I'm using is a liner brush. You can get those at like Michael's or some kind of craft shop around your area. They're about three, four bucks a pop sometimes. I use them for a few jobs and I chuck them because they lose their sharp point edge to it. But they do the job for what I need. This is a clear transfer tape, pretty much like the same transfer tape that I put all over the whole helmet to draw the image. This is just a clear plasticky version. And here's my beautiful workstation, nice and tidy. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm not gonna get the illusion that I have this pristine workstation and everything's nice and tidy and orderly. It's never been that way with me. Do a little once over the helmet, double check everything, look at my references, make sure I'm getting everything done and final detailed out. A little hot spot here, untape it, looks good. Now what I didn't show in this video is I actually sanded it down and put another coat of clear just to make it smoother. Yeah, I leave all my paints out. I don't put anything away when I'm doing a job because I might need that color again a little bit later on down the road. So I just leave everything out. It looks like a hot mess, but it's okay because when I'm finished, clean it all up and get my work table ready for the next job. Well, there it is everybody, another job done. What do you think? Let me know. I think it turned out all right. I just kind of went a little crazy into it, but it looks good. All right, y'all, take care.